got it. What is happening, guys? Good morning. We are down here in the great state of Florida. We've been driving around here in Florida for a little bit. Rig's getting a little dirty, but she's looking good. She's looking good. We're gassing up the truck. Boat's already gassed up. And we're going to a little secret lake down here in Florida. I've been there once, one day. Caught one over 12 pounds, bass over 12. I'm excited to get down there. We'll tell you what lake at the end of the video if you don't already know, but I'm excited. And my dad retired and moved to Florida. He, he lives on headwater, <laughs> or uh, he lives on a Harris chain now. I do. How you doing this I'm morning? I'm doing good. Yeah, you excited? I'm excited to catch some big ones today. You've never been to the place we're going? I have never been here. I've only been once, but it's gonna be fun. We'll, uh, we'll see how many and how big they are. It's gonna be good. We got yeah. some partially cloudy weather. It's springtime, it's February, and the bass ought to be spawning. They ought to be up in the reeds. They ought to eat a little Senko, maybe a topwater spook. Jerk bait, never know. There you go. Dad's got his jerk bait ready to go. We're going to be jerking on them. <laughs> All right. Let's get it, guys. It's going to be a fun day. I'm excited. Let's get to the lake. Is a packed place that is the line to launch no tournaments fun fishing catch and release megas so super dirty getting in here look at all the dust on the boat and truck <laughs> our uh, black tires are now white but we're gonna dump in it's all good you can wash them you can wash them just a long drive down a gravel road all right let's go get them guys I'm excited headwaters all right, Dad, let's get it. Big fish wins. All right, big fish wins. <laughs> oh, it's so dusty. Woo! Whoa, I just cast all my line off my reel. <laughs> wow there's my line I cast all my line off my reel <laughs> I've never done that gotta thread it gotta thread it backwards so you never you didn't have enough line on it? No, I had enough. I cast almost to that island over there. <laughs> it's not a deep spool reel. I was using it for uh, frogging. Cast a little further with that spook. <laughs> All right, got it re-spooled. Yeah. <laughs> got him. That's a good one. We get the net there, Dad. I got 12 pound Senko rod on. Woo! 
number one, folks. That is a good one. I hope we can replay that. He came and smoked it as I was just reeling it in and I missed him. Wow, that's a three and a half, I think. Look at that, healthy. All right, we're gonna weigh him today. We're doing a big fish competition. I'm, I'm one up on you, Dad. <laughs> Zero, and he is, oh. Come on. He is 3.65. Nice. Just over three and a half. Yeah. Nice. We give me a pick, Dad. I got something I haven't done yet. Release cam. Release cam. It's gonna be footage uh, shot number one on the release cam here. You got spot lock on? Nope. I might throw it on though, huh? All right, make sure this is the first video on this SD card. All right. See you, buddy. There he goes. All right. Thank you, Dad. Number two. You got one? Baby. A baby. Senko. Let's go. I'm going to get a baby. I gotta get another Senko out from under us. I'm just gonna leave those out. Yeah, he's right. He's close now. Yep, there he is. Oh, he got off. What the heck? There's a big one too. Look at that swirl. Gosh darn it. There's another one. There's a big one out here, Dad. Oh, they're right underneath the 230 mark? Yeah, big one. Where are you at? Close. You can cast out there. There he is. Oh, I got a little one. There's a big one out there. There's a bunch of fish going around. Woo! All right, guys, another one. They want it. Move it to the left. Oh gosh, I live scoped that fish. That's so cool. I'm done with this spinning rod. I'm putting it on a bait caster. I've missed three fish. Just throw, throw all the used ones over there.
thump gel. I'll just let it sit down there. <laughs> right after I put it on. Little guy though. Don't fish in text. Or maybe do, maybe that's why I caught him. There'll be bass beds in here though. I saw a little one. That's a bass bed that's not as bright. You must be at the bottom of that storm, brother. Yeah, I am. Gotta go where you gotta go. got a fish that's hilarious <laughs> you got a, a rat nest and a fish that's hilarious just letting it sit out there Six. Oh my gosh, you got a shiner. Woo! There you go. That's awesome. How you been? Good, how you been? It's my dad Tom. Nice meeting you. Yeah. We we caught about ten this morning. The biggest was about four. That's good. Yeah. Been fishing around Senko. Oh yeah, he's got one. We caught about how many we caught? He caught four and one shiner. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. We're actually catching more on good bait than anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they never hit a dead bait. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's awesome. Wow. Yeah. Smoking them. What's up? What's up, boy? just they're not biting no no not since like first couple hours a lot of guys taken out i was kind of worried it was packed when i got here still God, packed yeah. a lot of guys taken out though. yeah dang it it was packed back. what up banky <laughs> i like the rap bro i haven't seen it up this close yet had an absolute blast fishing headwaters with dad guys we got one more headwaters episode dropping next that's going to be an epic challenge video, but so much fun. So much fun. That lake's awesome. That's where I caught my PB and Laker caught his PB last year. Crazy. Uh, we didn't get any giants in this episode. Stay tuned for the next one. We just might, but uh, pretty fun day out there. It's always fun fishing with dad. Grew up fishing with dad from the time I could walk to, to now. So blessed to be able to go fishing with my dad and always good times good memories uh throughout my whole life and we're gonna make some more but uh, i want to share a little something about uh, uh from the bible that the lord put on my heart talking about miracles and uh god still does miracles today he he does miracles if you are comfortable sharing a miracle the lord's done in your life i would love to hear it down in the comments section and let people read some testimonies guys some testimonies of what the lord's done in your life i try to shell them share them here on my channel uh, as he does them in our life but what do you need for miracles to take place what do you need you need faith it takes faith for miracles to take place you need to position yourself 
if, if you want a miracle to happen, you need to position yourself in a way for the miracle to take place. If you're not having faith, if you don't believe God can do it, uh, you don't have faith. He's not going to do it. Um, I want to share a verse with you. There's a lot of verses about by faith you're, you've been healed. By faith this happened. By faith in the, in the Word. So get in God's Word, read about it. But Mark 10, 52 says, Go, Jesus said, Your faith has healed you. Immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus. By faith, by faith. All starts with our faith. We need to have a, a measure of faith that uh, the Lord can use and work with and, uh, and lead us uh, through. So uh, I've shared in testimonies on my channel uh, my shoulder getting healed. I've shared that one with you guys. We'll share it again someday. But literally, miracles. Um, that we hear about them. Uh, some of us have experienced them. I can't wait to read what comments you guys put in, down in the comment box. But so often things do happen or God does move in our lives. So often we downplay it or forget about it the next week. or uh, Easy to forget. But I just want you to reminisce. Uh, things the Lord's done in your life and, and how He's moved, what He's brought you through, what He's brought you to, what He's given you, the miracles He's done. And we need to lean on those in the good times and the bad times uh, to strengthen our faith even more and see what He's going to do. He's going to do greater things. That's what the Word says. Greater things are to come. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean bigger and better, but more. More and more and more. The Lord wants to use us more and more. So let Him. Have faith and see what he does. Well, we're going to get out of here. God bless you. We'll catch you on the next episode, Fishing with Norby.